We asked Libertarian candidate for Governor Bill Jelano his plan for Michigan if he were to lead the state. A total of seven questions that each candidate was also asked. When not putting more time into his already two decades of political involvement, Libertarian Bill Jelano is an insurance man who knows his history, the family kind. As far as hobbies are concerned, um, I have a public website. Uh, I study genealogy, and I have 3,000 family members in it. A former Grand Rapids restaurant owner, Jelano believes reforming Michigan's prison system will free up enough cash to fix the state's aging infrastructure. The uh, road funding formula was passed in 1951, and it creates a lot of fiefdoms. It, it just decides arbitrarily that counties get so much and cities get so much, and it really doesn't focus on needs. So I believe that in addition to the current spending, if we add the $750 million that we can save by reforming our prison system, um, that would provide sufficient funds to really make a dent. Jelano says if he were governor, not only would he support legal weed, those with nonviolent marijuana related convictions would be out of jail with clemency. I can't provide a, exactly what would be called a pardon. It's a legal detail. The governor doesn't have that power, but I can take them out of prison right now, and I will do that if elected. We've had Colorado and Washington for some time now, and the, the boogeyman didn't come out of the closet. When it comes to education, Jelano thinks Michigan's past is a good path for the future. How many school districts do you think we have in Michigan? And it, it's somewhere in the, in the 480 range. But in 1920, Michigan had almost 7,000 school districts. They were much smaller and much more responsive. And so I think it's really important for us to get back to that. With his party on the primary ballot for the first time, Jelano isn't discounting his shot at election. Never say never. Lightning can strike. We also asked about Jelano's views on Michigan gun laws. For that and the answers to all seven questions, go to our website, WXYZ.com. Brian Abel, 7 Action News.